Hey guys, it's I Want a Turtle, and today we're going to be starting another Lost Thunder booster box. Uh, after the last booster box, we got uh, really lucky and got actually two secret rare trainers uh, and the hyper rare Nine Tails, which is uh, definitely the the card that was you know that I definitely want from the set. So I definitely think that. Uh, you know, we, we had our great box last time, uh, but there's still some cards in the set that I do want to do, uh, get a hold on. Uh, primarily all the, the Pokemon on this box, which is Lugia, Zoraua, and Blacephalon, which... So, those three have continued to elude me. So, we're going to be hunting for those. And so, again, we're going to do uh, 12 packs um, a day. Six. Should be 12. And actually, real quick, uh, so the previous video I was talking about Japanese promos, so I think this is a great example. Uh, Red's Pikachu. Um, it's only in Japanese and it's just a really cool card. Uh, the first one I'm like aware of like that actually reference, actually I guess uh, other cards like the Dream Heroes and set uh, reference like the trainer, but uh, still very cool. And again, none of these are that expensive, but I feel like they're much more iconic than the English promos. Uh, I think I got this for like $8 on eBay. Um, but, so let's jump into this. Let's just make sure we have six and five. All right, so Lost Thunder again. And actually, um, we're also going to talk about uh, just some collection stuff. So I'm actually going to talk about specifically Binder Collection. And if, uh, you know, in case people aren't aware how feasible it is to create a nice binder collection uh, comparing it to PSA graded collections. Uh, the nice thing about binders is that they're much easier to look at where like the slabs, um, like not that it's hard to look at them, but kind of have to, uh, going through a binder is much easier. So for the first pack, Meryl Reverse and a Tapu Fini. And we're going to be going over some of the the old school stuff. So, uh, some of the last time we like talk about some base set. And yeah, again, the if people are uh, you know just starting out, I feel like a binder collection is a great, easy way to start with. And I'm, I bet it's cheaper than people realize. Okay, Onyx, Chikorita Reverse, Midi Drake, <laughs> and Zeb Straka. Not a bad. Not a bad card. For for a green cold card, the strike is pretty good. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go card. I think I saw something. Look like it's more likely a prism card. Psychic energy, pseudo Budo, choice helmet, canteen, car bink, blitzel, onyx, spinnerack, Populio, and heat factory. And then two cannon. So that, um, yeah, that Blacephalon continues to elude me, which is, uh, not again, not that I've opened a huge amount of Lost Thunder, but, um, Although, again, super happy about that nine tails that I pulled. But the Placephalon, I feel like, is the most uh, meta defining right now. And actually, though, <laughs> that's, a, that's one weird Pokemon. I have no idea what's going on there. Alright, white coat card. Whitney. Kaylee Diglett. That two, nice. Pachirisu, hop up. Whitney reverse, and ooh, another rainbow rare. All right, great start. Uh, Genesec GX. So this, is, I got the regular GX, um, and now we have the hyper rare version as well. All right, now that we got one. Um, First last sneaker rare, hoping for a very similar box to last time. 
Awesome. Great hit right there. And that card does not seem too good. I feel like three energy is a bit a lot. 130 with no special effect. And I probably won't do it. Well, it is a base. Base Pokemon. Alright, Vespaquin, Mina, Lolindo Trio, Scyther, Stunfisk. What is going on with this guy? Chikorita, Lolan Meowth. As far as the Alolan guys go, I feel like the Meowth and Persian are like the weirdest ones. Fortress, Reverse, and Unknown. In Pokemon Go, I did happen to, I'm lucky enough to get a uh, shiny pine color, and with the battle system, uh, I think one cool thing is that I finally have like a good way to show off my shiny collection. So Fortress is one of the ones in my, wherever the lowest tier is, uh, of one of my teams. Avatar, Slow Cook, Coke Chew, or excuse me, Shaman, and Don Fan. Alright. See if we can pick up the base a little bit. Do wanna to get to that binder collection? Alright, spell tag. Got the secret rare of that card earlier. Chansey. Pico. Picky Peck. Mantine. Ooh, Mimikyu full art. Very cool. Let's see. Perplex, confused. Uh, 10 plus uh, 30 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Hmm. I feel like that could be pretty good. Let's see if this guy. Alright, very nice. I feel like that's one of the uh, more interesting GXs of this set. Although, not sure how viable it is. Uh, Snuggle and Fall, there's, there's potential there, but to do more damage um, once it has damage, but there's no good way for Mimikyu to put on that initial damage. Okay, Meryl, Wurmple, Litwick, what is this? The thing is just a candle. Ninjask, Reverse. And then the damage unknown. All right, so definitely a uh, good start to the booster pack, booster box once again. Uh, one rainbow rare and one full art. Let's see if we can't keep it going. Actually, I think I should feel like I should be putting aside the netballs. Might have to go through and grab all those out. Ooh, reverse net two. Take that. And another fortress. Yeah, I'll grab those later. Another white coat card. Baba. Electro Buzz. Pine Coat. Eevee. Bruxish. Murray. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, reverse Entei, I like that. Reverse rare, nice. And then a Scizor. Scizor is always a cool Pokemon. Uh, third less damage from attacks. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, Grant this Pokemon a special energy attached to it. Hmm, this guy's pretty a special energy attached to it, so. Of course, it's fighting. You know, they usually have that strong energy. Uh, double colorless, I do think that counts. Uh, and that's only for one metal, one colorless for 130. The looks skeleton, but maybe it's just his 120 HP isn't going to allow him to survive very long. Weakness to fire, I think, is okay. Uh, actually, with the Cephalon, maybe not. It's a little There we go. White coat card. All right, mixed herbs. Flaffy, Electabuzz, Cub Chew. Another Nat two. Nice. How can we get some like? Ooh, yes. All right. As far as 
Prism Stars go, this is the one you want, and <laughs> another Genesec. Alright, very good pack. Although as far as GX goes, uh, there's a number of GXs that I have yet to pull, and this is my third Genesec. Although I am pretty stoked about the, um, the Hyper Rare version. Alright, so that's it for the pack opening, and... Uh, let's see, I'll just put this off to the side, and now we can talk about the binder collection. Um, so, this is actually a pretty nice binder, this is a Dex binder. And so, I think the, the thing I just want to quickly go over is the binder collection. So this is the base set, all for my collections, all I have is the, the hollows. Um, and in case people aren't aware, like how how feasible it is to create a quick binder collection. Uh, so for these, um, obviously the most expensive card is going to be the Charizard. And I think one thing that's not uh, that's uh, that's important here is that if even if the card is imperfection, so that means like if you do get it graded, it won't have a very good grade. But uh, in a binder. You, 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 you don't notice the damage. I'm not going to use this one. I think this one is actually okay. Um, but when it comes to low grades, a lot of times the damage is on the back of the card. And you don't even see that on the binder. And depending on the background, I, I usually use the white or black card uh, sleeves. Uh, damage is very is not very visible. And so I do have the, the rest of the base set. And then the shadowless set as well. And I feel like... So... Uh, quick glance at the Shadowless Charizard, which can be a very expensive card. Like you can see some, actually this one's particularly bad, really bad but like on a quick inspection, you, uh, you might not notice right away. Uh, upon closer inspection, you can see like this card is like super warped, incredibly damaged, but as far as it being in a binder, that's okay. Um, so card as damaged as this probably costs only like $10. Uh, and then even less for like the original base set uh, But yeah putting together a shadowless collection. It's just super nostalgic uh, Compared to PSA cards, especially when it comes to things like shadowless and like e Even if you go even further like first edition base um, You know the PSA set. it's not like you don't want that just lying around but stuff like this uh, you still get that nostalgic feeling and It's just much easier to look at uh, so then we have the jungle set So I do have that full set and then starting I have not put together much of the first edition uh, Again, even these ones. They're not that expensive you check on the like TCG player or troll and toad uh, You can get many of the cards uh, for quite cheap uh, And then actually one pretty cool set that to be honest I wasn't even aware of uh, Until probably like the past year or so was that there was a print run of the jungle set that actually didn't have the jungle symbol. So you can see it right here, uh, this jungle symbol, and it's not there for the fable. Uh, so it's a very cool set for the jungle. So I have a couple missing, obviously. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This one's a first edition um, Electro, but this Electrode is actually from the base set as opposed to the jungle one, uh, which is uh, supposed to look like that. Uh, so just another misprinted card. Uh, we have the fossil. I haven't put. I don't have the fossil first edition yet. Uh, and then from there, you know, everything's still coming together. Uh, so I did want to just quickly show you, as far as like you know, comparing this to PSA cards. Yes, the PSA cards are worth more. They're more expensive. Uh, however, I find that binder collections. You know, as far as if you just want to look at the cards, uh, binder collections are much uh, easier for that, and you don't have to worry about just leaving them around because. Uh, the cards didn't cost them as much initially to begin with uh, So I kind of want to show you guys that um, We'll go over some of the other stuff that we have in the binders at a later time uh, So thanks for watching guys as far as hits go the hyper rare Genesec was the big hit followed by a full art Mimikyu uh, We did also get a another prism ditto as well as another GX in Genesec uh, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you want to help the channel, please like the video and subscribe for future content and I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Bye.